Dominic has been keeping bees for years at his home in southeast Poland. But for the last couple of years, he's been bringing his hobby to work with him. Actually, I am trying to check if this honey is ready to uh, take it from the, from the beehive. These three hives have been set up on the roof of ABB's corporate research centre in the heart of Krakow. And being so close to the R&D labs of one of the world's leading digital technology companies has its benefits. These hives are filled with high-tech sensors for weight, temperature, audio levels and much more. When we started this, the first task was let's count the number of bees going in and out of the beehive and calculate it. And then we said let's monitor the puff of the bees. Here we can also um, draw, for example, the density clouds of the bees and how they move over the day from the morning uh, to the evening. And, and this uh, also very attractive kind of algorithms we can also pass to the uh, industrial environment. On the one hand, ABB researchers can test their sensor technology on the bees, developing new algorithms for assessing how they move, predicting their behaviour, analysing which data are useful and which can be discarded. And on the other hand, the techniques perfected here can then be applied to industrial environments on the cutting edge of today's digital society. Uh, an oft underappreciated fact is that for data analysis you need data. Take an application like uh, bee identification, bee detection and bee tracking. That could uh, directly uh, translate into tracking objects on the factory floor, tracking uh, shipping containers. For something that began as a quirky experiment, it's already yielding practical results for the researchers in these labs, helping customers navigate the complexity of the fourth industrial revolution. Not to mention the fact that their breakfast has improved too.